Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic length. Uh, we want to do a subtopic introduction to the concept of length. And uh, on top of that, you want to see what does it mean when you talk about length. And uh, we want to see a few conversion of units. Like we have the unit used for length and uh, I mean the standard unit, what we call the SI unit, and then other units. How do you convert from one unit to the to the other? And so, of course, we have a few questions uh, at the end of the lesson just to help you with practice and just to help you check on your understanding of the concept as discussed through, through this lesson. So, what does it mean when you talk about length? Let's see. So, length, what does it mean? So, we say length is the distance between two points, you know? So you have this point is A here, and we have this point B. You see? So one could be walking from point A. You see, this is somebody here with a, a small head or a big head. Or I don't know. So we have, uh, this is somebody here walking from point A. They are moving to point B. So what is the distance? What distance are they covering? You know, what distance are they covering from? From... Uh, from point A to point B, you know, that is what we're calling length, the distance covered from point A to point B. So say it's the distance between two points. So you must be able to identify two points and then you look at that distance. So the SI unit of length is the meter. So a meter is, uh, you see, a meter could be maybe the length of uh, the, 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 if you know a meter rule, you know, the one you use in physics, the meter rule, meter rule, that could be, an example of a meter or the, the body ruler, you know, that size, we call it a meter. So if you talk of two meters, you know, that is distance, you know, that is length, the distance between two points. So if two meters, we're talking about two of these, two of these, you know, or two of the, that size, you know, so two meters. So the SI unit, that is the standard unit of measuring length is the meter, you know. So a meter is approximately the size of a meter rule, if you know what a meter rule is. So uh, we have other units of measuring length and we want to see how, so we want to see how you can be able to convert maybe units from maybe meter to other, other units that you're going to see. So we have these uh, units like kilometer, that can also be used to measure length. And a kilometer has got a thousand meters in it, you know, a thousand meters. Like when you talk about a meter, the, the size of the meter rule. So a kilometer has a thousand of that size, you know. So a kilometer has a thousand meters in it, you know. There is this one also called hectometer. And you can see the symbol. So you can just talk of 2 km. So in math, this is interpreted to mean two kilometers. You know, that's why it's important also to take note of the symbols that we are using for other units. So K there stands for kilo, so kilometer. So length can also be measured in kilometers. You know, you could be walking from maybe one city to another. So kilometers are used for for longer units, whereby you could be walking from one city to another one. You know, from one town to another town. You know, maybe you could be walking from Nairobi to, uh, you could be maybe traveling, you know, from Nairobi to Nakuru, or from just one city to another city, you know, you see, from Dar es Salaam to another city somewhere. So that long distance, it would be more convenient to measure that in kilometers. More convenient to measure that distance. If it's very long, then use uh, the unit kilometer which has a kilometer, one kilometer alone has a thousand meters. It means if you talk of two kilometers, you know, this will be two, two thousands, you know. So two kilometers could be equivalent to two thousand meters. If you have three kilometers, that will be three thousand meters, and so on and so forth. Then there is also the hectometer. Hectometer, you can see again the symbol. So take note of the symbols used for this other units the hectometer hectometer so we can also use hectometer so hectometers are also used for distances that are relatively longer 
and a hectometer has got a hundred meters in it. So if you talk of one hectometer, this has got one hundred, you know, one hundred meters in it. So there is a hundred meters in one hectometer. Deca is common. We use deca a lot. So deca uh, stands for ten meters. Now we have these very small uh, units of measuring length, like decimeter, you know, so length can also be measured in decimeters. These decimeters, it would be more convenient to measure maybe like this size here. You see, this size is relatively smaller. You know, what is the width of this, this margin here? Okay. You see, what is the width or what is... So when you are talking about small, uh, like small smaller distances you know smaller magnitudes of length then it will be more convenient now to measure them in these other units like the decimeter so a, dec a decimeter is 0 0.1 of a meter or 0 0.1 meters see so that is smaller there is also a centimeter that is common we use it a lot in, in geometry while doing constructions you can see maybe the length of a rectangle measured in centimeters you know so centimeter here, so centimeter is 0 0.01 of a meter, you know. So these are smaller units. There is also a millimeter, which is 0 0.01 meters, you see. So from here, from here we are able to conclude that one meter is equals to 10 decimeters. D here stands for deci. You know, if you multiply both sides by 10, if you multiply both sides by 10 here, you will end up with one meter is equivalent to how many centimeters? 100 centimeters. That is, you multiply both sides by 100. How about the millimeter here? You multiply both sides by 1,000, you end up with one meter is equivalent to 1,000 what? Millimeters. Okay, so those are other units. These are other units. What we're talking about here, we call them other units of measuring length. And remember, you can be asked to convert we can give you maybe uh two kilometers then we ask you to change them to meters you see so if one kilometer is a thousand meters what about two kilometers you simply multiply by two so it's not hard it's very easy now we have uh, a few uh prefixes that are used for Unit conversions. You see, these are a, a few prefixes that are used for unit conversions. You know, when you are converting from one unit, basically, basically they apply in all other quantities. You know, so we have like mega. Mega stands for a million. Every time we talk of, you know, mega, it's one million. Kilo is a thousand, as we had talked about before in the previous example. So if you talk of two kilometers, this k here stands for kilo. Kilo is a thousand. It has a factor a thousand. So if you remove this k, you replace it by a thousand, it will be two times one thousand meters. So you see, I removed the k, so I replaced it. I replaced it by one thousand. So this is equals to two thousand meters. You see. So prefixes. It's also good to have the right interpretation of what these prefixes. These words that are used before, like k m. K there is kilometer. M is K there is kilo and M is the meter. So put together, we have kilometer. We have hecto. Again, you can have maybe three hectometers. So if you remove this H, it's 100. So you have three times 100 of a meter, which is 300 what? Meters. Deca. Deca here should be... Deca here should be 10. So take note of this adjustment here. So deca is 10. So take note of that. So deca is 10. So talk about deca. So if you have something like uh, maybe three decameters, D here stands for deca, you know, D and M there is the meter, so decameter. So if you remove this D, you replace it by what? 10. So you'll have 3 times what? 10 meters. And this is how many meters now? 30. 
30 meters. You see how important uh, this, uh, these prefixes are in unit conversion? So if you have the right interpretations of what these of, of, of these prefixes, then it is very easy to do the to solve problems involving unit conversion. As opposed to when you just cram, you just cram, memorize one kilometer is equals to a thousand meters, you know, one hectometer is equals to a hundred, you know, one hectometer is so when you have the right interpretation of what these 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 prefixes stand for, then it becomes very, very easy to solve problems involving this. So we have a few questions here to help you practice on the same, just to challenge your your thought processing, just to challenge your thinking a little bit, just to just to help gauge on your understanding of the concept as as has been discussed during this lesson. So the first question is that define the term length and and and, and steps. This is and steps. It's S a unit, you know. And question number two is that uh, state the value of the following prefixes as used in unit conversions. We have the milli there. So we have milli. We have hecto. This is hecto. And we have sent. See. So these prefixes. So we have centi. We have hecto here. And we have milli. So the question is that you try and give the factors represented by these. Milli stands for what factor? Uh, what factor? Hecto stands for what factor? Centi stands for what factor? And of course, this is state. You're supposed to state, state the SI unit. You're supposed to state the SI unit of, 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 of length. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you.